Hello guys, welcome to our new video. Today we have with us Mr. Adharva who has just been placed in DXC Technologies with a package of 4.2 LPA. So welcome Adharva to Talent Battle. Thank you. Okay. Good evening. So good evening. Adharva, first of all, we want to congratulate you on getting placed in such a big MNC like DXC and starting your career with DXC. So uh, a big congratulations from a whole team of Talent Battle. Thank you so much. So could you tell us more about yourself, Adharva? Okay, so my name is Adharva Amrapurkar. I am from uh, MIT World Peace University. Uh, I have just completed my degree in the mechanical engineering itself, which is completely non-IT background. And uh, talking about my interest, I have uh, built interest in coding and data analytics. Okay, great. So uh, you are from mechanical background, right? So like it would be interesting to know your uh, learning strategies and your journey during the hiring process because being a mechanical student, you will be sharing us most important points that could help other mechanical students, basically your juniors to get into IT companies like DX. Yeah, I just want, wanted to talk about my placement strategies, like how I, how I started preparing for preparing for the coding rounds and the aptitude rounds. So first, uh, first thing first, whenever the placement round started, I have no idea uh, how, the, how it will go. But uh, at that time, talent battle really, talent battle, uh, really helped me out. Uh, throughout the aptitudes, uh, the mathematics, and the coding itself. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot, Adharva, for uh, getting us, motivating us. Because students like you motivate us to teach uh, something best to our other juniors as well. Okay, so moving ahead, Adharva, like whether it was an on-campus drive or off-campus drive. It was an on-campus drive. Okay. So you got each and every link through your college TPOs, right? Okay. So uh, like, when did you uh, register for the test and after how many days you received the first uh, stage link and what was the first stage of hiring process all about? Uh, yeah, I have applied it uh, on uh, November 2021. Uh, I don't re remember the exact date. I have applied it on November to, uh, 2021. and. I have got uh, updated in between 10 to 15 days for the first round. And the first round was the uh, actual aptitude test, uh, which uh, which includes uh, five, five different types of tests. Okay. So the first, uh, there was an online assessment, right? So like uh, how many sections were there in the first online test? Okay. So there, there were uh, five different sections. One is mathematics, second is uh, reasoning, third is uh, English. The fourth one was the different one, uh, which is an essay writing. And the okay. fifth one was uh, the uh, coding MCQs. Okay. And on which platform the online assessment was taken? Hopefully it would be like uh, the platforms like MCAT. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. MCAT, MCAT. Okay. So uh, starting with the first part that was numerical ability. So what kind of questions were asked in the first section and how many questions were there? Uh, uh, talking about the number of questions, I don't remember uh, about that, but I can tell you about the difficulty and uh, the types. Uh, like there were ratio ratio of proportion, there were quadratic equations, uh, and uh, there were some statistics as well, including probability uh, and uh, different different concepts. Okay, okay. So, uh, coming to the second section, the English or the verbal section. Uh, English uh, was like basic uh, on the uh, English comprehension and uh, the types of sentences, uh, including grammars and etc. So was the test overall test was time efficient? Uh, yeah, the test was time efficient. It was uh, uh, the time was given very perfectly. And uh, but talking about the difficulty, uh, I can say that difficulty is medium. Okay, so difficulty was medium. Right. So uh, coming to the essay writing part, because this is very new uh, to us, like uh, the TXC conducted essay writing part. So like, how was that conducted? Uh, for how many words you have to write the essay? And did you remember your topic as well? Uh, the topic, I, I don't remember the topic, but yeah, the word limit was extended to like uh, 400 words. Okay. And the uh, uh, difficulty for that uh, was quite easy. We like we can uh, describe the essay uh, in our own words. Okay, okay. 
so after that you told that there were some technical mcqs right so on which topic the technical mcqs were asked uh, it was basically on the data structures and uh, object oriented programming okay so being a mechanical student uh, were you able to answer all the technical questions uh, to be honest the... yeah. yeah i have uh, already uh, studied about those concepts uh, i have got to know from uh, the talent battle guys that uh, how, what what kind of questions would be there in the placement rounds so i have studied uh, object oriented programming in the uh, deeply and there's some data structures as well okay okay great so after uh, the online assessment was done so when did you got your final results like uh, you have cleared the online assessment and you were called for the another stage uh, i have, we have just got the uh, results in 4 to 5 days maximum and uh, then we we have been told that your interview is scheduled in 4 to 5 days okay so uh, coming uh, to the interviews now uh, how many rounds of interviews were there Uh, there was a single round, including technical and HR. Okay, so technical and HR both uh, were conducted in a single round. Okay, so talking about uh, what was the duration of the interview? Actually, the uh, interview took uh, uh, a little longer. It took uh, around forty-five minutes. Okay, so uh, like uh, being a mechanical student uh, again, I am asking you the same questions because we want to know like. what was actually happening right so did they asked you the questions related to your mechanical field or they were focusing on the it concepts uh, in the interview uh, their more main focus was on my project and okay. uh, the familiarity with programming like the object oriented uh, programming concepts and some data data structures they also okay. wanted to know like uh, in which language i am able in or if i know any programming language or not Okay. So, did you carried uh, the projects related to IT field or your own mechanical field? Uh, my my project is kind of mixed one, uh, which is uh, related to electronics, mechanical, and IT. Field. Okay. 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 So, I think projects really help you, right, in the interviews. Yeah, projects and uh, some uh, programming concepts as well. Okay. So any questions you remember out of those programming concepts or oops, uh, which were asked in the interview? Uh, they they asked me about the four principles of uh, object oriented programming and how they how these uh, program these concepts relates to the real uh, real world. Yeah, okay, that is the uh, that is actually my favorite question. Uh, okay, so uh, did the interview asked you to write some code also? Uh, no, they they didn't ask me to uh, write a code. Okay, and coming to the HR type of questions, like uh, what questions were asked? uh firstly they they wanted to know why why i am choosing dxc why i would like to choose dxc apart from that they asked me about the location uh they asked me about the preference of uh, of the field i want to go in like the domain and apart from that uh, they disclosed me about the uh, ctcs and all and if if i am comfortable in it, in that okay okay so at end like uh, i want to ask uh, after how many days did you got the final mail that you were selected with dxc uh after 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 a week i got the mail okay just it took a week to announce the results yeah the process was quite fast uh, uh, apart from other companies okay okay so uh, how are you feeling right now being placed like in the last year these days you were trying harder to get into companies and uh, just after a year passed and you are placed into uh, big companies so what is your feeling right now uh, to be honest whenever when i was uh, i was in the third year uh, it was uh, continuously murmuring around me if i am if i am going to place in any company or not so it was a quite uh, like a tension around me if i am going to place in any company but uh, after preparing well and uh, working on that i got to know i can i if i am get if i am going to place in this company or not and today i am completely pleased that uh, i am com- i am at least in in a some company with a some good package great so any advices from your side to your juniors about your learning strategies and which methods you follow to get into 
IT companies being a mechanical student. Yeah, I would uh, I would uh, suggest anyone to uh, uh, calm yourself first. If uh, if any guy is in third year, I would uh, suggest him or her to calm yourself. Secondly, uh, I would suggest them to uh, go through the to uh, practice continue continuously the programming concepts. And apart from that, the aptitude because aptitude is uh, one of the most important thing uh, during the test. Because whenever you get into a, an interview, whenever you are selected to your interview, uh, you are done. Like whenever you clear the, just clear the test, you are done. You are, you are selected for the, for the company. So make sure uh, you will uh, practice regularly for, for the aptitude section, the reasoning, verbal, and uh, the mathematics section. Uh, and apart from that, uh, uh, keeps on continuously practice uh, practicing the uh, MCQs of uh, programming concepts. The basic on programming OOPs concepts and data subjects. Okay, so thanks, Darva, for being here with us today and guiding your juniors for uh, those who are planning to start their uh, journey, career journey with DXC. And I hope they have just got some informative content by watching this video till the end. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, also like to this video because uh, the informative content like this would follow one by one in other videos as well. So thanks Adharva for being here with us today and we again congratulate you on being selected in DXC. Thank you so much.